There we go, guys. First off, sorry about the way this is looking. I'm using my air vent. The uh, window mount broke that I usually be using to do recordings on, so I apologize. And then I got one for the rear, but that's going to be facing behind me. And that's mainly why I'm doing how to videos and all that good shit. How about them Falcons? Number one, NFC South. That's right, South. All right. All we got to do is ride the fuck out now. I mean, we had three turnovers, fumbles in the red zone, but I will discuss that on a later video, probably today or tomorrow. This this right here is strictly for the uh, geekdom fans out there um, that watch this. It's Dragon Ball Unseen. I'm going to be honest, and like I say, it, it's for the members. Um, and when I talk about it on the main channel, it's the same, you know, same thing. But when I, when I make that video public, um, you guys are already going to know what I'm going to say, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a little bit more direct in this one, if that makes sense. I watched that. I, 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 I watched it. Okay. I have to say, for someone that amped this shit up to be this this next big fucking goddamn thing, okay, it was a failure, in my opinion. All the comments in there, and on, on that video that I actually looked at, was based on the, the throwback to Tanami, which is the gayest shit I have ever seen. You open up this shit with the retro Dragon Ball shit. Yeah, I can't remember how the wording go, but I had the VHS tapes. I ain't watching in like 20 years because I don't have a VHS. But I know I can just go on YouTube and find the old opening to Dragon Ball Z. Now prepare yourself for Dragon Ball Z, you know, coming up next. You know that. The fucking gayest shit in the fucking world. And then you put a commercial in the middle of that shit. And then you had Tom from Toonami give you a shout out. And then, of course, you had Stephanie Nallan, Nallan Nandy, whatever the fuck her name is, the original voice actor of Gohan, that for some reason guys was creaming their fucking pants for it. That, that tells me their life story, okay? Creaming themselves behind a female voice actor. You know, I mean, that's the gayest shit in the fucking world. Rise up, baby. I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm trying to tell you. They don't know. They don't know, man. <laughs> but, um, gay shit in the fucking world. I listen. Listen. I see why this shit was a budget project. You had to pay Tom for a shout out. You had to pay Stephanie now, now and Lanny, what the fuck her name is, to, to repraise herself as Gohan. And then you had to pay everybody else that had their hands in it. So I see why you did a novel. But you amped this up like it was going to be better than Anime Wars or better than Dragon Ball Deliverance or some shit. I don't understand how that was an accomplishment. There were some people in the comment section that was they they was honest. They they you know they 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 told the motherfucking truth. You know they you know they didn't bite their fucking tongue. And I'm not gonna bite mine. Um, that shit was garbage. I'm it was garbage. It listen, listen. <laughs> you can't hype up some and then put it out there like like it's going to be this world breaking show you went on your own channel and asked for help in pushing this stuff out and then I found out the next episode about how Vegeta became, became a god 
You know what I would have done with um with Dragon Ball Unseen if, if I was doing something like this here? I would have took this King Cole what if shit. You know, even though Trunks said Goku defeated him in his timeline, right? And let's let's think about this. You know, the original timeline, Goku dies, you know. Um, and of course, Zeno destroyed their original timeline. So now we have this Goku that's not even part of the main timeline, thanks to Trunks. Just fucked your world up with that, didn't I? But anyway, anyway, Goku in, in our current timeline now, all right. Trunks went back in time, in the same timeline, but back in time. This is why he time traveled. Back in time to, to, to tell Goku about his heart virus so the future can be changed, even though it's not going to change. It's, it wasn't going to affect Trunks' future because they're from the same timeline. That's why time travel is fucking, fucking horrible. But, but, but listen, I would have took this, right, and made it a... I probably could do a 10 episode miniseries. Well, how would I have done that? I would have took, all right, Goku, took my time with him getting there. I would have had King Cole and Frieza take their time, like you're building the fight, right? And getting the earth. And then the second episode, you know, everybody, the first episode, everybody can sense impending doom and they don't know Goku's coming. Even though we knew Goku knew instant transmission, everybody, you know, they're they're anticipating, you know, that Frieza's coming. They didn't know that Frieza would bring his dad with him, right? Then, you know, they they get there, Frieza and King Cole and all his henchmen, and they actually fight the Z Warriors, right? Goku is still on his way. This episode three, Goku's still on his way. Episode three could have been the arrival of King Cole. They're still on, he's still on his way, right? Episode four could have been the fight with Frieza. And, 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 you know, and his henchman's cohort, why King Cole sit back and watch, right? Episode fucking five, six, and seven could have been Frieza just beating the shot, the Z Warriors, touring with them. And then all of a sudden, episode eight, Goku gets there, kills Frieza. Episode nine could have been Goku fighting King Cole, right? And then episode 10 would have been. Goku's triumphant victory and then going on to the future. Like, you could have took your time with that. Instead, you're going to go from that one mainly eight-minute episode minus the commercials and shit to Vegeta becoming a Super Saiyan God? You could have told stories. You could have went back to Trunks' timeline after this, right? After Goku dies. You could have went back to Trunks' timeline and you really could have told a story about how Cell killed Trunks, you know, uh, and then how Cell actually got back to the past. We know Cell killed Trunks, but you could have you could have you could have led that up to after the androids defeated Gohan, right? And you could have had that that you know space and time, right? Um, and then we know Trunks ended up killing the androids, which is why Cell had to go back in time. So. You could have told that story. Matter of fact, you could have told the story of Cell becoming perfect in that timeline if Trunks wouldn't defeat the androids. Because what Trunks did, he went back in time right before the androids were released and he killed them. So when Cell came, Cell couldn't find him, but Cell killed Trunks or whatever. So, I mean, that's so much to do, but you're going right to Super Saiyan God Vegeta. Bro, all that material is right there. If you really, if you really want to do this the right way, all that material is right there. Right there. There's some shit you can do in the Boo Saga. You can go back and explain how Marge and Boo ran wild and how he ended up being, you know, sealed away. And then you can go back and tell a story about how, um, how can I put this? How after Marge Boo defeated all the Kaioshans, everything he done, right? Yeah, the same thing up until he got sealed away. And, and you know, you could have told that story. You could, you could have, you could have told more backstory about Kid Boo, like all that unseen shit. You know how Kid Boo was just ripping and running. I know they kind of did that in Z, but you know how Z kind of dubbed shit down. You know, uh, you could have told a story, like even better story leading up to how Old Kai got sealed in Z Sword, like. 
it's just so much material out there, bro. Like, but 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 this this right here was an absolute failure. Failure. You should have saved all your money up, man, and really wrote down a story and let them animate that shit. And then you would have had a lot more ammunition to fuck with. But instead, you wanted to rush and get it out there. And, I mean, yes, your diehard fans are going to support you no matter what. And that's mainly who's supporting the comment section. But, honestly, they should be giving you really good criticism. Like, this shit was garbage. Fuck a novel. You should have you should have did straight animation. You... You should have been saving up this project for years and years. Like, you should have been saving up for this shit. Say what you want by My Star Media. Say what you want by Sailing Scholar. Say, uh, Sand Scholar and the other people that does, they, they fan anime of Dragon Ball. But they're saving up and actually having animation done to it. Uh, Dragon Ball Epsilon, I always kind of felt like that guy, Machiavelli, I mean, Malabelli, what his name is, he, he kind of, he does a little bit too much and it's, it don't flow as well. But Dragon Ball Deliverance, that guy that did those episodes of Dragon Ball Deliverance, good shit. Um, Devil Artemis, I I, uh, I got tired of watching sell, 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 but Devil Artemis could have paid him to do your shit. Like, you dropped the ball with this one. I, and, and, and that's just being blunt. That's being as blunt as I can be. You know, um... And that's 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 all I can say about it. Uh, I, I I I really I really can't say any more else about it. It's it's it's. I had a feeling that the the product that I was about to see wasn't gonna be up to par. And I know a lot of people. The members gonna see this video, but the members that might end up joining because of this video, um. They might be geek them fans and they might disagree and I'm fine with that. But at the end of the day, this shit here was grade A cow shit. And most of the comments is about the nostalgia commercials and shit. Or how good Stephanie Nalanelli, well fuck her name is, voiced Gohan. That was it. And the guy that did Goku, how close he sounded like being Sean Shemmel. That was it. That, that, that was it. There wasn't nothing really, it wasn't too many comments about how good the animation was or the actual storyline. It was mainly commercials, the throwback to Toonami, and oh my God, Stephanie's back. Guys jacking off to Stephanie being back, doing Gohan. That was it. That's a big fuck you to the fans if you ask me. So that's all I got, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. And uh, yeah, it is what it is, man. It is what that shit was. That, mm -mm. Come on, guys. Peace.